Don't know. It's a straighter with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Hope that everyone is doing very well. I appreciate all your positive energy. I'm picking up on um, something here. Um, just what a heavy I don't know, projection or manipulation or. What am I picking up on for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Hmm. Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, Reverse. An apology for ruining a family. Apology for ruining Maybe it's someone's energy or someone wants to disrupt or there's I'm not sure yet. The sun reverse. Yeah, there's something about someone being very unhappy, ruining uh, the chance for, for, for joy. Um, the lovers reverse. Breakup, separation, broken contracts, um, divorce, wheel of fortune reverse in the recent past, a lot of bad luck, misfortune happening for someone. Three of Wands, someone wants to or they want someone to be waiting for them. Or someone Near future. Queen of Swords reverse, Knight of Cups reverse. Someone's very insincere, love bombing someone who's actually very critical and cruel. Um, Two of Cups, someone's focused on a partnership, um, soulmate connection. The Empress is in the environment or affecting the situation. You, a divine feminine energy. Uh, you're in the mix. Uh, you're in someone's energy or in someone's thoughts or the fool, knight of wands reverse. Hierophant reverse. Someone acting very evil-minded. Uh, someone taking a leap of faith. Someone Someone being a player, taking a leap of faith, getting a divorce, um, doing something unorthodox, someone being evil-minded, three of cups reverse, some type of betrayal within a group or a third-party situation, page of pentacles reverse, um, blocking someone's offer, blocking an offer, blocking an opportunity. I'm definitely picking up, there's something, yeah, there's some type of disquiet. Um, you may be just sort of going on about your day, but you feel something, um, you feel something's not right, or, I don't know, there's something in the background here. What is this Page of Cups, Ten of Cups reverse? Family room. Yeah, you know, like someone's not in the, the home, or there's disunity in the home, or someone could be trying to extend an olive branch in a situation where... There's a lack of love, dysfunctional family environment, or someone's very disillusioned here, or um, someone's in bad health, they want to get out of bad health. Something about a broken contract in the subconscious or a divorce. Thief, because someone stole something from someone. Someone feels like someone stole something from someone. Misfortune in the recent past. Expectation. Something that someone was. It's based on what someone's expectations were. Maybe they weren't expecting this. Or they were expecting for someone to have misfortune. Um, someone's waiting for something or... A message. Someone's waiting for a message. Something about 
a job loss or someone losing a job. I mean, it does seem like someone is trying to block an opportunity or someone didn't get an opportunity. Someone is doing something mean here, very mean, critical, uh, putting someone down, bitter, but they're love bombing someone at the same time. Um, someone's, someone's love bombing someone. This just feels very dysfunctional. Talking about you. Someone's trying to cut you down. Someone's focused on this Two of Cups um, connection between two people. Um, someone's trying to get out of despair. Someone sees you as an Empress energy. Body, all queens of the deck. Very grounded, unconditionally loving. Lovers reverse. Some type of a broken contract between you and someone or that you're not with someone. Um, but you seem like an Empress energy. Someone wants to do something very evil-minded. Sudden wealth or a player, someone's going to lose all this wealth, um, if they get a divorce, if someone takes this leap of faith, some type of a betrayal in the outcome, courtship, someone's courting someone, concern, someone can't stop thinking about they didn't propose to someone or they want, they don't want someone to get, get an offer, um, it's, you know, in a lot of ways, it seems like the similar energy that's just kind of there a lot. It's like the same same story, but the, the energy is very um, it's like thick, thick or toxic or something. I feel like there's an event happening, but it's like, I'm definitely, it's, you know, it's, I want to say it's irritating energy. Uh, family room, someone's not in the family room. Someone's being false. Someone's being false here in a family room. The family dynamic's very dysfun dysfunctional. Nothing's real. Someone's being very fake. Fake sweet. Um, someone feels disillusioned. They're trying to get out of bad health. Um, they don't... Everything feels negative. They feel lonely. There's no love here. Deep down, someone feels like someone broke a contract with someone because of this thief. Um, someone didn't get a message. They, they're thinking that someone didn't get a message. Someone didn't get the message or someone's blocking the message or some, someone's trying to block a contract, trying to block someone's messages. Someone was expecting something, some sort of chaos, or they were expecting for things to fall apart and they did because of this young woman. Um, moving forward, it could be a sister or a friend or I'm not sure who that is. That could be someone, someone hired for something. Uh, it could be, I'm not getting love interest. I'm not sure who that is. Someone feels like they're going to be very sad about something. They're, someone is expecting something and they're going to get a message of concern about a job loss. In the near future, um, someone is being very critical of you or cutting someone down in regards to you. They're love. They're they're being very insincere and they're cutting cutting you down. Something about you in a house or you in a business, but you're in the upright, and this house is in the upright. But someone's cutting someone down and love bombing someone. Um. In the near future, someone's trying to get out of despair in regards to these two people, um, soulmates or enemy reverse. Someone is not someone's enemy. Someone might feel like they made you their enemy and you are you didn't do anything and you're their perfect partner. Or someone wants someone to be your enemy and they're not. Um, someone feels like they, they're your soulmate or they, they you're a good match for them. Empress is in the upright, um, child. This could be a child out of wedlock. This could be someone who is someone's mother. Um, this could have to do with someone starting something new. Two people are not together. There's a broken contract. Someone's starting something new, but there's a broken contract between two people. 
they might feel like you're moving on or maybe you started a new relationship here. Um, someone wants to, uh, someone's worried about someone being a player or a divorce, losing all this wealth. Um, haughtiness, they care about how things appear. Um, this is some type of betrayal. Someone's going to be courting someone. Something's very frivolous or superficial. Um, it could be a superficial group of people, a party scene. Uh, no one trusts anyone. Very dysfunctional. Surprise. Something's not a surprise here. Or someone doesn't want to be surprised by something. So there's this family room and it's very dysfunctional. Um, and... No one's happy. This is an unhappy family. But someone could be trying to butter someone up. Um, it's a big burden. It's very burdensome. Someone feels sad. Uh, it's very negative. There's no love here. Something to do with a letter. Not getting to someone or not being able to write to someone or someone blocking a letter. Um, blocking some information someone might need, blocking someone's information, uh, changing some information, some information is not getting to someone. Um, deep down, someone feels like someone stole someone's contract. Um, someone had some luck and someone stole someone's, someone's contract. They blocked someone's message. Um, or this is something very superficial. Someone broke a contract because of something very superficial. So now, now they can't message someone or, or that someone didn't get a message. Someone was expecting some failure or bad luck because of a young woman here in the recent past. Um, moon reverse. Something happened. Uh... Someone did something around the moon, or someone's very unemotional about something. Bad luck, misfortune, some someone something that was faded didn't didn't come to be. Um, someone is waiting for something. They've got their eye on their on the prize. Um, someone wants someone's going to message someone about a occupation. Their lost job loss. They're going to be very sad. Fish reverse, grave reverse. Someone's not going to get the money. Someone doesn't want something to end, but someone's not going to get the money. Um, yeah, because someone's trying to block an offer. Someone's not going to get the money they think they're going to get. Um, someone's going to be criticizing you. You're in a good space. Tree reverse is something about someone. Someone's in bad health. Very bitter and bad health. Bad mental health. Love bombing someone. Um, criticizing you, criticizing someone, something about you in a house, um, maybe saying you don't belong. This could be an unhealthy family dynamic. Someone's in despair over these two people. Um, there's a masculine energy here that is not someone from your past that you were romantically inclined with. This could be a new partner, someone who's heading towards you. Um, someone who's not your enemy, someone could be worried uh, about this person coming towards you. Um, there's a broken contract with this empress. Um, there's a child here. Someone is really faithful towards someone. Um, or someone is someone's friend, but there's a broken contract here and someone's starting again. Um, someone, someone's worried someone's going to do something very evil-minded here. Um, about someone who's very important or an important person or someone who's very haughty. It has to do with a lot of money. Someone cares a lot about money or not getting this money because of this haughty person or, an, or this is an important person and someone else is very haughty. They just care about this money. Um, or someone wants to do something very evil-minded. Um, Outcome. There's something about a courtship and a karmic feminine, someone doing something very uh, frivolous, um, some type of cheating or something. Bouquet reverse, trying to block someone's beauty, block something beautiful. Uh, this is a lack of romance. Maybe there's no romance here. Uh, 
Um, who are the primary energies of who we are looking at here? I see warrior, child wounded, visionary. Who are the primary energies? Child orphan, someone who seeks surrogate families, inappropriate surrogate families. Mystic, that could be why I'm picking up on that energy. Someone who dibble dabbles in lower vibrational spiritual practices. Teacher, someone trying to teach someone bad skills here. Someone who could be an actual teacher. Someone could abuse animals or people. They're focused on a divine feminine or divine masculine. Alchemist, yeah, this person's dibble dabbling in something. Um, Priest, oh wow, we've got maybe a spiritual practitioner, queen, that could be working with a um, karmic feminine energy, very arrogant, controlling and demanding, or um, this person is, okay, I think these people are up to this, what I'm feeling, I'm just feeling this, so okay, someone's helping someone, this is like a spiritual practitioner helping someone, um, they're focused on a healer, a divine feminine who's a healer. Um, being very voyeuristic, trying to look into what this person's doing. Um, someone could be very much um, all about how, or they care about someone's roman romantic feelings or someone's trying to use someone's romantic feelings against them um, or someone will do anything for money. Um, someone's trying to do something. They don't care about the emotional consequences of whatever. They're trying to sabotage something. Angel, they're trying to sabotage this angel. Okay, so that's why I'm picking up on this um, just real nasty energy. It's like, I, there's two people here focused on a divine feminine. Yeah, who's very angelic, a healer. Um, there's an alchemist priest was like a teacher trying to teach someone something, a mystic. Um, yeah, and then there's this karmic feminine energy is very abusive, seeking surrogate families, whatever she's trying to arrange here. It doesn't, it's not part of her um, destiny. She's trying to sabotage someone else though. Um, one or both of these people are very mechanistic in thinking. Um, this alchemist priest teacher mystic is very much, uh, you know, I don't know. I just feel like people are trying to manipulate someone ro romantically. Yeah. This alchemist priest is mystic is trying to help this karmic feminine being very voyeuristic to see what's going on with this um, divine feminine energy. So that, yeah, it just feels like maybe some sort of in invasive manipulation or voyeurism. Um, okay, so, so these are intentions then. Priest. So these, this could be like some type of um, priest spiritual practitioner this is about doing something false. Something's very unhappy here. Okay. It's a... Uh... I want to say it's like um, an unsettling energy. It's unsettling. Um, it's like if you're waiting in line and someone's staring at the, the back of your head and you, you know that they're focused on you, you turn around and they're, they are indeed looking at you. It's kind of like that. So um, what are they trying to do here? Something is false. Someone's very unhappy in this home. Um, there's no love here. It's very dysfunctional. This is this is very un, an unhappy environment. There's no love. 
very unhappy environment. And then, um, someone might be taking their, the secrets of their home. Lost. Ghosted, blocked, cut off. Someone's not in the family room. It's re reverse. Someone's gonna be pretending like like they're not ghosted, or they don't want to be ghosted, or someone wishes they didn't ghost someone, or someone doesn't want to be ghosted. So they're turning to whoever this is. Someone's not in the family room. They don't want to be ghosted. Um, bad health. Searching, looking into the records. There's no love here. Maybe that's what this letter is. Some sort of information. They're having trouble getting it, though, because they're both reverse. I guess it could be Akashic Records. Um, bad health. Why isn't someone in bad health? Someone's very disillusioned. There's no love here. Why isn't someone in bad health? Or they don't have the information. Someone's being very false. Um, deep down... Someone knows they're stealing something, a contract from someone by trying to block this message. Deep down, someone is stealing something. So it should be a practitioner who knows they're doing the wrong thing. They're helping someone uh, try to steal something from someone else. They're trying to block someone else's contract. Pressure, cooker. They're trying to push down some energy. They're, they're not... They're trying to push down some type of an energy that something's something is like maybe someone might be trying to act like they're not panicked or that this isn't a really big deal, whatever they're doing. Um Someone's ready to explode. Someone's going to go into a rage. Someone's trying to steal a contract for some from someone. It's very superficial, but they're going about to go into a rage. Someone might feel uh, like, or someone is getting angry because they're being stolen from, or they want someone to go into this rage because of something superficial. They want someone to feel like, angry deep down. Because someone's trying to block their messages. Someone could be trying to... Someone could be trying to... You, for instance, you could be trying to focus and someone is trying to interrupt your, um... You know, what's next for you or your downloads or something. Um, and they want you to be very angry because they're trying to steal what comes next or your, your progress... Or this could have to do with a contract between you and someone else. Someone could be um, acting like they're not about to go into a rage. Um, but this just feels like something's about to explode. Someone trying to push it down or act like it's not happening. That like someone is in real life really trying to steal something from someone that's, a, that's contracted. That doesn't belong to them. In the recent past, something about this young woman here, um, something about someone being very unemotional or some, something backfiring, having to do with the moon. Um, they were expecting this. Or they, someone's very unhappy. Someone's not happy. Yeah, there's no happiness here. There's no happiness here. Ever since some, something backfired or something with this young woman, Someone had some expectations, but someone's not happy. Someone doesn't feel any emotions. Someone's not happy. Everything is dysfunctional. Someone's being false. Someone's very disillusioned. They can't seem to look into something. There's no love here. Um, they feel like someone is very positive about something, but someone is going to, or they're waiting for someone to lose their job or it has to do with the message. Someone's going to be very sad. Someone's going to lose their job. They're going to ruin their career. They're going to, someone's, someone's career is ruined. Um, settlement. Someone won't be able to agree, get this agreement or someone will not, 
Someone will not compromise. Someone is waiting for this. They're waiting for someone to lose this um, contract or this agreement. Someone's, someone's not going to get the money because someone refuses to let something end. Someone's not going to get the money because someone refuses to let something end. They're very sad or melancholy. Or they're going to be very sad and melancholy because they're not going to get the money. They're not going to agree on to this settlement. They're going to get this message about this. They're going to get a message that they've lost their job or that they've lost their occupation. Someone who's very positive is going to lose their occupation or, or someone is waiting for someone to lose this money. Um, in the near future, if that's supposed to be you, you're in the upright and you seem to be doing better um, or just very solid. If they're intending this, you seem to be very doing very well, um, but and someone else's health seems to be getting worse. And they are very um, critical and bitter, but they're also trying to love bomb someone um, in the near future. Someone doesn't have, someone is not, doesn't, isn't feeling insatiable. Someone isn't having these unquenchable feelings or wanting more. Someone's trying to get out of despair about this twin flame or these two soulmates. Someone's not someone's enemy or there's a new person heading towards someone. There's a gentleman here or um, maybe this is this practitioner. I'm not sure who this gentleman is. Um, some type of an adrenaline rush. Someone's trying to get out of despair, some type of adrenaline rush about these two people. Um, there's a karmic energy in the environment, third party relationship. There's some type of a breakup. There's an empress here that someone is faithful to. I don't know if someone's trying to say you're a third party or there's a third party trying to who's appearing as a third party and you're the empress but that uh, there's a broken contract between you and someone that you were supposed to you're very loyal um there could be a child involved there's a karmic feminine who's coming across as a third party trying to break a contract break your contract you're an empress energy in the environment um someone wants to do something they're hoping to do this evil-minded thing to block a marriage someone taking a leap of faith towards someone they don't want someone to get this sudden wealth um with this very um powerful individual um where they want someone to be like a player um they want someone to take a leap of faith they don't want someone to get their wish they don't want someone to have this location change Someone's not going to get their wish. They're not going to get, they're not going to move. Whatever someone's praying or hoping for, um, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get this location change. Someone's not going to get this sudden wealth. Wow. Seems like someone's trying to block someone from getting a contract, the job or something. They don't want someone to move or they don't want something to do with the house. Or they don't want someone to sell a house or for this house to get sold. Um, but it's like, it seems like this feminine energy gets this house. You do. I don't know if they're trying to block a masculine energy or they're trying to block whose job they're trying to block or if they're expecting this for themselves. Um, something very frivolous or there's some cheating going on or there's some dysfunction. Someone's courting a uh, karmic feminine or a karmic feminine is trying to court someone or this karmic feminine is trying to... Um, do something, a betrayal with this courtship. Someone's courting someone. Um, someone's trying to block someone from going on an adventure or a vacation, or someone's not going on this adventure. Someone's very triggered, or someone's trying to trigger. Okay, 
So someone is definitely unhappy. Something, someone's very burdened. They're not listening to their intuition. This is a very dysfunctional environment. Um, someone doesn't want to be ghosted. Someone is very false. Someone's having trouble getting information or they can't get the information. Someone's very disillusioned. Um, there's no love here. About someone's originality. They can't get information on what someone's... Someone wants to seduce someone because they're not achieving anything. Or someone's trying to seduce someone so that someone won't achieve anything. Or they don't want someone to be searchable. Or they want to block this information. This has to do with someone's originality. Deep down, someone's ready to explode because someone's trying to steal someone's contract. Or someone wants someone to feel angry deep down inside. Um, appreciation. There's something beautiful here. Um, there's something beautiful to behold. There's something... Someone's trying to steal something from someone that's just very lovely. Or someone wants to steal something because someone appreciates someone. There's something about blocking someone's messages. Someone's trying not to explode. It's something about the way someone feels about someone. Trying to break a contract between two people. Someone's trying to steal something from someone. Someone really appreciates someone. Someone's ready to explode because someone's trying to steal something. Someone keeps thinking about this message. Someone didn't get a message. It's all very superficial. Someone's unhappy. Something might have backfired from the moon in the recent past. Someone was expecting companionship. A loss of friendship. This group is falling apart or someone's very unhappy. Someone's not with someone. So as an intention, someone is not going to compromise. Someone's going to give someone, a, someone's going to get a message that they've lost their job or they've lost their career. They're going to get the message and they are going to not get any money unless they stop whatever they're doing. And they're going to be very sad. Or someone is waiting for someone to lose, lose their job because they won't settle. Or they're losing a job because they won't this they can't come to an agreement they're going to get this message they're not getting the money something is not over someone's not going to agree to this someone's losing their job devotion someone has to stay devoted someone wants someone to stay in a grueling situation or someone wants someone to be devoted to a grueling situation they don't want someone to propose to someone or they're going to lose their career. They're going to lose all of their money. In the near future, someone's in bad health. Someone is trying to put someone down. They're being very insincere. They're acting nice, but they're putting someone down. Romance reverse. There's no romance here. Um, but you're in the upright in this house. There's no romance. Someone doesn't have insatiable thoughts about someone. There's no romance. Someone's in bad health. Someone's very critical of someone. Someone's very moody, uh, unreliable. Someone could be very fickle. There's no romance. This whole family could be in despair, but you seem to be in the upright. Someone... Maybe he's trying to trap someone in a situation, 
because of their career demanding that so they're going to blackmail someone or something. We're going to, they're going to try to ruin someone if they leave. Um, and someone's being very moody and critical of someone. There's no romance. Someone's, someone's doesn't want more. Someone doesn't have these feelings for someone. They're not attracted. They're not passionate. Um, someone's trying to get in, out of despair in regards to these two soulmates. And there's another masculine energy here. Someone is not someone's enemy. Um, order. Someone's trying to keep the order here. Someone's trying to get out of despair. Someone's trying to keep things in order. In regards to these soulmates. Someone seems really loyal to you. But it's like you, someone's trying to block a contract or you're not with someone or there's a third party here in the environment. Someone has to make a choice. Someone is afraid that someone's going to do something evil-minded so that someone doesn't get their wishes, so that someone can't get a house, or someone doesn't... Someone is hoping that if they do this evil-minded thing, someone won't get their wishes. They don't want to sell this house. They don't want a divorce. They don't want someone to get sudden wealth. Something about someone being a very important person. Because someone's not going to get these wishes. Or someone doesn't want someone to move. Or someone doesn't want someone to get move into a house or have a new house. Um, or something, something about someone being a player. Um, someone doesn't want someone to get these wishes or have their hopes. Um, they don't want someone to flirt with someone or to head towards someone. They don't want to lose this money. Someone's not going to get their wishes with this important person. Someone's not having an adventure. There's a, a cheating or a group of people. Or there's a betrayal. Um, it's all very superficial. It's something about someone pursuing someone. There's a current feminine involved. Um, someone's criticizing someone. Decision reverse. Someone's trying to take away someone's uh, ability to think through all the steps. Or someone didn't think through all these steps. Someone doesn't feel romantic. Someone doesn't feel romantic. Someone's feeling very triggered by someone's beauty. Someone feels angry. They feel like... Someone feels angry. They feel like a contract was stolen from them. Something they appreciated. There was beauty here. Or someone wants to steal something from someone's... Something that's really lovely, or they can't stop thinking about this message. They want this message to go away. They're ready to explode. Um, this letter, they're trying to block this letter. Someone's very original, they want to block it. They don't want someone to look for something online, or they don't want someone to see someone's records. They don't want someone to achieve something. They want to seduce this person something about this originality, they want to block the love, or someone's in bad health, they're very unhappy, but someone's very original, but someone doesn't... I almost feel like this could be, um, <laughs> this could be a karmic feminine energy trying to block a masculine from your past from coming towards you who... you were with and also another masculine who's some type of um, someone else who has some position of power. Um, someone's trying to threaten someone or, or, I don't know, conjure up something that so, someone doesn't make an offer to someone. That's, that's all they can think about is like blocking someone's romance or trying to stop someone from thinking through all the steps. Someone's very triggered. Um, 
definitely focused on you. This is all about you and what you do and don't get. Someone's threatening someone. Someone's not going to agree with someone. Maybe about traveling or someone has their eye on the prize and someone is going to try to ruin someone's career. Or they don't want someone to come to a settlement because they won't their career. They could lose their career. Or they want someone to stay in a grueling situation. They don't want to lose the money. They don't want something to be over. They don't want to lose their job or, or they're trying to block someone else's job. They want someone to stay in a grueling situation. Someone wants someone to stay in a grueling situation. They want them to stay devoted to something. Um, or someone wants someone to stay devoted to something. But they don't want something to end. Someone's going to lose their job or someone's threatening. Someone's going to lose their job. They're going to get a message. Someone's going to send someone a message about losing their career or their job. Or they're expecting for someone to get this message about losing their career or their job. They're, they're, they won't come to a settlement. Or someone's trying to stop two people from forming a contract. Um, they could try to stop someone from coming towards you who's a very important person. Um... Seven, it seems like um, twenty four seven focused. Something about your ideas or what you're creating or something not being able to someone be able to find you or something about you what you're creating trying to block your originality or they 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 hate your originality. Um, someone's not listening to their intuition. Whatever this is, doesn't know how to communicate in a healthy way. It's very dysfunctional. Um, they see your true potential. They're threatened by it. They, they want to block your money flow. Um, they're challenged by your originality. Um, they're jealous in competition with you. They're having trouble looking up something. They're not, they don't have any love. They're in bad health. They're looking you up or they can't find something or they want to block your achievement or they're feeling like they're not achieving anything. Okay, you're not ghosted. Maybe they tried to have you ghosted. And you seem very kind and good. And their situation is very um, dysfunctional. They're in bad health. They don't have any love in their life. They see you being very original. They're in competition with whatever it is you're doing. Deep down, there's something about, there was something very beautiful here. Someone blocked a message. Someone tried to steal something, steal a contract. They, they feel like they're trying to hold down. They feel like they're going to explode over this contract. They're trying to steal this contract, but they, you're not ghosted. So they try to steal something from you and have you get ghosted and you're not. And you're very original. So if they try to steal something from you, it seems, seems like you're in this sweet energy they don't, they can't get the, what they need information wise on you, but they're in competition. They know you're very original. So maybe what they tried to steal from you, it's like a, you know, it's like a worm that can grow another worm body. <laughs> That's the best analogy I could come up with for the moment. Um, so it's like they try to steal something, but I feel like maybe this is, maybe this is about I feel like this is about um, love, though. 
I mean, maybe this is a friend of me or a work colleague or someone trying to steal something from me. Maybe it's both love and there's, maybe it's you and a partner or someone that you would be working with or maybe it is romance and, and work or there's something about how unique you are here. Someone's jealous of you. Um, they try to, they want to steal this contract or something very beautiful here. Purposely trying, purposely trigger, triggering you to fuck with your day. Okay, so I, I did say they're trying to, they want you to feel angry. Deep down, they want you to feel angry that someone is like, you know, in your aura, in your space. They're trying to block a contract. They want you to feel irritable that someone's trying to block your contract or they want your thoughts to keep turning back to whatever this is. They don't want you to get your downloads or it's something about like what the next step is. They want you to feel subconsciously uh, out of sorts, not clear. Um, but I do feel like whoever this is they themselves are projecting that because that's how they feel. Um, wow. Okay. Um, in the recent past, there's no, someone's not happy. Um, bad luck. Um, someone's not someone's friend or they're losing a friendship group. Um, haters are mad because they see you winning. They're not happy. They see you doing well. They're experiencing bad karma or fate's not working out. Things are not working out for them. So what are they trying to do here? They're trying to block an agreement or a settlement. It's something about ruining someone's career or, or they feel like them, they're in a grueling situation and things are falling apart for them. That's what I'm not sure of. Maybe they see you with your eye on the prize and they're... Um, Something has been blocked for your protection. If something hasn't worked out for you, um, or something is hidden, um, it could be they're trying to target something you're working on. It, it's like throwing someone off the scent in a way, um, or something like that. Can I get one more? talking over you. They want, they want to make sure you don't get the money for something. They're trying to ruin your career. Or your job. There has, there's something about someone else staying committed to something, though, that's very grueling. They, want, they won't compromise. They don't want someone to compromise with you. They want to be seen before you do. They don't want you to be seen or heard. I am not certain. What are they doing here? Having to do with someone's job. Recruiting haters. Constantly comparing themselves to you. They can't stand your creativity because it shows they lack it. They hate on your gifts. In the near future, what's going on here? Romance, reverse, critical, very critical. Someone's looking at you, you're fine, you're good. Um, they're experiencing a lack of romance or they're trying to block romance. They're not experiencing any romance. Um, haters will always gaslight. <laughs> Excuse me. Plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby. So it's just more crit being crit critical and love bombing. This is some type of love bombing, plotting, love bombing. They're worried about a soul contract between two people. Spending their money on 
spell work that never works. They're on some type of a roller coaster. They're trying to get out of despair and try to manipulate something. There's something about someone having a choice. They're trying to block a contract for you. Someone is be be being seen as a karmic feminine energy, a third party trying to block choices for you. Um, that's how people see this person. People see you as this empress energy, very loyal, but that someone's trying to block a contract for you. That's how they come across. That that much is very clear. That um, They're being seen for what they're doing. Um, they're, they're causing chaos and fights in your love connections. Um, they feel like someone wants to reconcile with you or something like that. And they're being seen as someone who's trying to block block that from happening. Their whole evil-minded thing has to do with blocking someone's wishes. They don't want someone to move or sell this house or for someone to move into this house. They don't want someone flirting with someone. They don't want someone getting um, sudden wealth. They don't want to get a divorce. They don't want you to get married. They don't want someone to be a big, important person. Um, anything else? They don't want someone's wishes to come true. They don't want someone to feel hopeful. Um, fake support you. I'm not sure. They manifest dark shit. So someone, I feel like that's someone fake supporting them. Um... Someone's not going to get this vacation or this adventure. There's something wrong. Someone's cheating or there's a betrayal or this group is all in disarray. Someone's criticizing someone. There's a courtship happening. Um, someone's criticizing someone about a courtship. Trying to watch your life. I want to see you suffer. Okay. Thought manipulation. Trying to influence your thoughts. That's what I... Okay, so I kind of started out the reading by saying that. I was picking up on energy. Um, just very, like, some type of invasive energy. Um, someone who wants you to keep thinking maybe about what you didn't get. Or someone wants you to be triggered by something you didn't get. Or a lack of choice. Someone wants you to feel not, not beautiful or they don't want you to have romance or they want you to feel like you don't have romance in your life or they want you to think about that. Um, they feel like you keep regenerating and they keep comparing themselves to you. They want to get other people involved to make this a bigger... Um, thing. Um, it's something about your work. Something about your work. I feel like they want someone to stay committed to them. They're not, they want to block some type of an agreement or contract. They don't want something to be over. They don't want you to get this money for something. Or they want to block your money flow. Um, they're threatened by your, your potential. Um, so this is just like a lot of really messy energy. Um, someone who's extremely jealous of you. Who doesn't want, I mean, they don't want you to have any love. They don't want you to get this money. They don't want someone who looks like an ex to come towards you. They don't want this other person who's wealthy or I don't know if this is work or what this is. They don't want you or some contract they're focused on. And they also want to ruin your day so that you think, think um, negatively about yourself, how you look, a lack of romance or um, about what you lost or they want you to feel distracted and then be angry because you're distracted because you can't get to work because you just feel like you can't piece together the steps. They want you to feel triggered. Um, they don't want you to get this offer or proposal. Um, and 
they themselves are on some type of like they're on their own roller coaster they're on a roller coaster that, that they can't get off of that's it's just literally all about you um it's just all about you if i look back at these cards if i look back at these cards um They know they're dealing with like a divine feminine energy, very voyeuristic, trying to see what you're doing. Um, they have someone helping them. This whole situation is not happy at all. They're in a very unhappy, um, they are extremely unhappy. Um, they're definitely trying to dibble dabble in something and I feel like that's where all that like purposely trying to trigger you to fuck with your day comes in. It's like they don't have anything better to do. They just want to mess with your um, productivity and they want you to feel badly about yourself and then they also want to work externally to block someone else from coming towards you or there's something about blocking a compromise or they won't compromise with something. There's something about or maybe threatening someone about their own job loss or something like that if someone comes towards you um something about i just want to i just want to understand a little bit about these intentions um it just yeah plotting and scheming is part of their lifestyle and hobby so this is just what these people do. Um, so if you're feeling that distraction, um, I would just maybe do take the steps with a very, um, even with this energy, just take the steps that you have on your list, whatever you need to do, um, and do it with detachment. You don't have to have your whole heart into it. You could just take the steps and see what happens. Um, what are they trying to do here about your occupation? They want to block this money. They don't want to compromise. They don't want a compromise to happen. Um, they don't have evidence of something. Or they don't want you to be seen as this boss bitch. Or they're trying to block evidence. They don't want someone to get the evidence that you're a boss. They're trying to block your occupation, trying to block this agreement. They don't want you to, they want someone to be very, okay, they're gonna get bad karma for this. <laughs> they're, whatever they're doing is they're creating bad karma for themselves. They need to go inwards. Um, they're, they refuse to go inwards to see why they're like so addicted to focusing on you and trying to stop your productivity marrying for money <clears throat> they want someone to stay married for money um your light irritates their demons is the problem um i don't even think they, these people know what they're doing i i'm not they just don't want you to get this money they know someone's crying and upset over you um they can't they can't um fake whatever this is anymore. That is true. Um, they're way past that point. These people are clout hungry. Um, it has to do with hustling about like what you have and what, what they have or just trying to mess with your money flow, like work-wise, how are they trying to mess with the collective's workflow? Something you're waiting for? Yeah, I started out with this Three of Wands, something about waiting. They don't want to wait anymore, they want to take something, thief. They want to take something, they don't want to wait anymore. They don't want people to get any evidence that you're a boss, they want to these people have a lot of bad habits. Um, very toxic. It's something about an offer on the table. They don't want someone to be curious about you. Uh, 
Uh, let's just go to the near future here because you're in the upright in your house is very in much in order and it seems like someone's not attracted to them at all. Um, giving money reverse. They don't want someone to give someone money. They're trying to criticize you. Um, someone's uninterested in them though. Um, you're, you're not rejected. You're just, you're just not rejected. It doesn't matter. Whoever this is, is not confused. Someone's not having unsatiable thoughts towards them. They're uninterested in whoever this is. Uh, you are not rejected. Uh, whoever this is, is not confused. You're in the upright here. You're very solid. Someone's trying to love bomb someone and criticize you at the same time. They're trying to gaslight someone, plotting and scheming. I don't know who this is they're trying to come towards. Um, I don't know who, who it is. Someone's trying to get in the middle of something here. Um, this, yeah, this whole situation's played out. This whole situation's played out. People could see what's going on. And this is like cartoonish. Um, yeah, still in the outcome trying to criticize, watch you, criticize you. They wanna see you suffer. Uh, all, that's all they can think about, wow. They're trying to view you or think about you or in your life. They want to be in your life. They want to criticize you. Um, yeah, watching you creep and remote viewing, tarot, whatever it is, they can't stop. These people are addicted. This person's addicted. The, all they care about is your romance and who you're seeing. It's the karmic feminine energy. Chasing reverse. They don't want someone to come towards you. So that is the energy in the background. Maybe, maybe just maybe it's um, helpful to know. Uh, I don't even feel like you might feel it far off in the background. You might, you might potentially feel like you're not as focused as you'd like to be. I feel like, or you might have a few thoughts that are, um, you might feel a little bit of sense of something being off or, you know, it's like someone's trying to project some type of melancholy that's not yours here. Um, yeah, they, so these people, this person, this karmic feminine energy. Oh, wow, there's a masculine, a karmic masculine. It's having a conversation. Return to sender. Just return to sender. Um, and then have patience and wait. That, that's it. Okay, um, I hope that helps, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.